Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite products and some products that I think should be an absolute essential to all you glam girls out there. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so first things first, I have to speak about these underarm roll-on situations. So this is the Nivea Dio Beauty Essence Even Tone with White Musk and Jasmine Petals. Now I was using the brown, I like this is the brown variation. I was using the blue variation of this and I really really love the smell. Um, I usually do use Nivea roll-ons and I also recently started using the Shield Even Tone and I was using the Shield Even Tone for a good couple of months. So I mean I've been experimenting with underarm roll-ons over the last couple of months but the one as of recent that I've been loving and that smells really nice and that keeps you fresh throughout the day no matter how much you've been sweating especially in this heat is definitely the Nivea um, roll-on like I said the shield even tone is also really good I prefer these roll-ons as opposed to the aerosols I feel like the aerosols don't really last that long on me personally but um, yeah the usual blue and purple Nivea as well as the shield even tone those these three are like my favorite but this is the current one that I'm using that I absolutely love and if you guys like fresh smells definitely try this because it's amazing and the blue one smells slightly different to this one but they both still smell amazing okay so now that we have roll on out of the way we're gonna hop on to body lotions and my absolute favorite which is by my bedside definitely has to be the Nivea rich moisturizing 48 hour intensive moisture care dry to very dry skin this one this Nivea is honestly the best that I've ever tried but Vaseline sent me the healthy glowing skin 48 hour dry body lotion so I feel like I am constantly switching between these two sometimes like if I shower at night I'll use this one and majority like during the day I use this one but I kind of really like them both if I'm being honest so like their textures are quite different but they still really are moisturizing and they both smell really different this one smells like cocoa butter vibes but yeah I really like them both next is this baby right here so this is the cellulite and slimming gel from cellulite now I did also get my sister a bottle to try and she has been really enjoying it as well I don't think she has been cupping as frequently as I have but she says even though she has not been cupping she's still seeing a difference I have only used this cupping um, so I could get the full effect of this but I definitely recommend this you guys it works so well like I said to you guys so many times like it really makes your stretch marks even look way better and with lockdown and gaining a little bit of weight I have also gotten a few more dimples I have one deep dimple on my thigh that I'm trying to currently get rid of and yeah this baby is the one She's the girl, she thinks she is, okay? Don't say I didn't plug you guys, because this is the one. Okay, so next for body exfoliators, I absolutely love this one from Caribbean Tan. This is the Cinnamon and Coconut Skin Smoothing Exfoliator, and this, you guys, is amazing. So this is the second pack that I got in PR. I also got the first pack in PR, but when I tell you, I absolutely love this exfoliator it's not like the typical coffee ones that leaves like coffee grains all over your shower wall like this is so easily like washable it doesn't leave your shower smelling like coffee it just smells so pleasant you know this is definitely one of my favorite favorite body exfoliators and it definitely does the job you guys it does a really really good job which is making sure that everything is nice and smooth your skin is smooth it's just an overall like easy exfoliator to use in the shower so I highly recommend this one if you guys are looking for a really decent exfoliator okay next my recent obsession has been candles now I blame my beauty at home with you campaign 
because they sent me such a huge PR package and they sent me this poetry candle it's called good day I actually am thinking of buying another one because guys when I tell you the smells so amazing which is why I probably have gone through half off the bottle at this point but it is so good you guys I am definitely going to invest in fragrance candles from now on because honestly it just your room just smells like amazing and it just smells so like calm and soothing and you know, it's just it's such a refreshing feeling and especially with my self-care routines I just love like lighting a candle especially after I've cleaned my room and everything just smells amazing and I absolutely love it another candle that I also purchased because I didn't want to finish the poetry one these candles are from Mr. Price Home I do believe I paid about a hundred and for this one I think they may have bigger ones which cost a little bit more um, I'm just checking if I can see the price on here the price is not on here but I do believe I paid 99 for this and you guys this candle though it smells so good like it literally like it literally smells so delicious i don't even know how to describe it but i just decided to get this awaken one on a whim because i was like okay it's green it looks fresh i mean how bad could the scent be i almost can't decide which one i love more the poetry one or this one for mr price but they both smell so good so next is a perfume and i've really been spraying this perfume like really really sparingly because i love it so much and this is the green tea pear blossom from elizabeth arden i got this in pr you guys and i absolutely love it it smells so fresh so clean i just really love fruity floral smells i don't really like floral and i don't like fruity on its own but i like this this has been my go-to as of recently another perfume that i have been loving for a while and yeah i've had this perfume for a like maybe over a year at this point this is the hollister california perfume so you can get this at clicks uh elizabeth arden you can get off superbalist what else can you get off Fushini, that kind of vibe and so yeah this hollister perfume you guys is also like it's also like a, a fruity floral smell, but it smells so... It's like a sweeter floral smell. But mm, it is delicious and I love it so much. So if you guys like fr fruity floral scents, I highly recommend this Hollister perfume. This one is also another one that I've been... You can see I haven't been using it a lot because I'm not trying to use it up. I like... You guys see what I mean? Like I use all of my stuff like very sparingly anyway and then we have a misguided perfume now this is a recent one to my collection and this has like a this is also fruity floral but i want to say it's more on the floral side so it's got that balance but it smells so good you guys this is called babe vibes there's also another one called babe night i believe and is it called babe night i think it is called babe night but that one i haven't really tried on for a full day yet i tried this one for a full day and i've been using it for a few times since then and i like to give myself some time to you know like really experiment with perfume so i'll try it out the first few times and then i'm like okay i know who you are i know when i should use you so i have like different scents for like different occasions like you know like sometimes i'll wear this out to clients sometimes i'll wear this out to clients sometimes i'll wear this out to clients actually there's no occasion it just depends on what i feel there you go another must-have item that i absolutely love and i cannot live without is my kiki beauty rose wax lip balm i have one by my bedside there's always one near me somewhere somehow very close by to me i absolutely love it you guys and my second favorite lip balm 
definitely has to be the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It is a lot thinner in consistency than the Kiki Beauty Rose Wax Lip Balm, but it is super moisturizing and I feel like it is also quite exfoliating on the lips as well. So if you're looking for like an exfoliating lip treatment mask situation, this is really good and it comes in a little itty bitty baby size. This smells amazing. So I feel like this would be perfect for like traveling uh, and this is perfect for keeping by your head side. Or bedside. Whatever you'd like to call that. Okay, so next we're going to go into sunscreen, which I feel like is an absolute essential. Everybody needs to have sunscreen at this point. And I'm going to share with you guys my top three favorite sunscreens at this moment. So the first one that I think is really, really nice for just like spraying and that's like easy peasy is the Kiki Beauty Beach Sun Protection Mist SPF 50 Waterproof. This is what it looks like. So this is water resistance, non-sticky, high protection, wet and dry application, non-greasy, 100% transparent and easy application. So I like this because it doesn't have a cast whatsoever. And this is also really easy. So when you are on the go, when you're driving somewhere, you just quickly spray this on your arms. You're good to go. When you're in a rush, this is the bomb. It also has like a really nice like coconutty smell which I think is amazing. It also says here that you can apply to wet or dry skin. So that's interesting. So I'm gonna be going on holiday and I figured I might as well stock up on different variations of sunscreen because you know, you never know. But I really do like this one. Like I said, it's really quick and easy. And when you're running out the door, you just spray it on and you're good to go. So really love this one. Another one that I also really like that I recently discovered is the Nivea Sun Sensitive Immediate Protect Sun Allergy Protection SPF 50 Plus. Very high. And it's light, non-greasy, unperfumed and water resistant. So this one... It's also really nice, like I applied this the other day and went straight into the pool and I definitely did not get as sunburnt as I usually do get. So highly, highly recommend this one. It's also like a really good consistency. It's not greasy at all. And when I got out of the pool, my legs had this like white cast on them. So if you don't mind the white cast, I highly recommend this one. It gives you immediate sun protection. So you know usually you have to apply the sunblock and then wait to go into the sun before sun exposure or whatever. But this, I applied it and went straight into the pool and it was good to go. It didn't need any setting time and my sister also uses this for the kids. They have a kids one as well um, and I think that's really, really good. So don't forget your sunblock, you guys. It's really important. I also use this on my face and I did not have any issues with having the sunblock on my face. Sometimes you do have issues with the different sunblocks on your face because the skin on your face is a lot more sensitive. But this one, I did not have any issues whatsoever. And then lastly, we have the Protect and Moisture Immediate Protection SPF 50. Very high. Readily biodegradable formula and water resistant. This is the Nivea Sun Spray. So, I was looking for this in this bottle, but it only comes in this spray bottle for the kids in this formula. So I was like, okay, let me get this as well. I have used this sunscreen in the past and it's really good. And these are like my top favorites. This is like new to the collection. These two are new to the collection which I really like. This smells like coconut as well. It smells really, really good. I think also this is really nice for not just like a summer sunblock. It's good for like an all year, all year round sunblock. Not just when you're going on holiday, but just every day because it also gives your skin a really, really nice like glow. You know? I kind of like it. This is like an everyday sunblock for me. And then, yeah, these two are definitely waterproof. You definitely need water-resistant sunblock. It's really, really good. And this also says immediate protection. So, yeah, I kind of bought this blue one for the ease of the spray situation. 
So I would say the difference between these two is that this one is not like that greasy. It doesn't give you that greasy look. But this one is moisture, protect and moisture. Now my skin does get dry, especially when I'm in the pool for a while. So I do actually prefer this one sometimes, just so that I have that hydrating property and that sunblock property in my sunscreen. So that is it for like my absolute current favorites right now and essentials that I feel like everybody needs to have. But anyway, it is now that time for the lippy of the day. And today I am wearing MAC Chestnut Lip Liner with my MAC Whirl Lipstick. This is the lip combination I have on my lips right now. I think it's super, super pretty. And I'm definitely loving pairing um, MAC Whirl with Chestnut as opposed to pairing mac whirl with plum so they look like two different lippies but i'm definitely enjoying this lip combination okay everyone so that is it for this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed some of my ultimate favorite products right now that i just absolutely cannot imagine living life without and yeah, I feel like I haven't done like a non-makeup favorites in a while. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Comment down below and let me know what is your current absolute product that you cannot live without that is non-makeup related. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day every day with Amazon Makeup. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.